What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, talking Melodious in this video. You guys know how much I love the Melodious archetype, and this is, I mean, I don't think that I've discussed any cards from Shining Victory, so this is at least the first one I'm talking about. I'm not sure if this is the first card from the Shining Victory's booster set that has been, like, revealed, but Shining Victories, if I'm not mistaken, is the set that comes after Breaker of Shadows, and it looks like Melodious are going to get some support. I guess if you look at the TV show, that is kind of like a guideline as far as what cards are going to be and the archetype I, uh, that means that i really need to like catch up with the tv show so i know what the heck to expect um i believe you i believe yuzu just had a duel against strong ishima the sledgehammer guy from the first episode that yuya ended up beating and i assume that she must have summoned this card because uh otherwise like why would it be in this set so like you know that that's it can't just be a coincidence so i assume that she summoned this it's a brand new fusion card for melodious uh thank god because like like, two fusions is just not enough for the deck. There's too many situations that come up, and, like, one of them is good, the other one is amazing, and they just, they need, like, they need, like, a couple more, because how come Fluffles can have, like, fucking ten fusions, and Melodious have, like, two? Like, that's not fair. Even Shadows have, like, one for every single, like, attribute except Divine, you know what I mean? So, like, Melodious have kind of been getting left in the dust when it, uh, less left in the dust when it comes to, like, fusion support. Um, when you compare it to the other recent fusion decks, I mean, even Ritual Beasts have more fucking fusions than Melodious. So anyways, this is Bloom Prima, the Melodious Choir. Um, she's a light fairy, obviously, because all Melodious are light fairies. Got to keep those honestes. She's a fusion. She's level 7, 1900 attack, 2000 defense. Um, at first, I was like, you know, 1900 for a level 7 is not all that. I wish it was a little higher, but the first effect honestly makes up for it. She requires a Melodious Maestra and a Melodious Monster, so um, she's a lot. She's the same exact summoning conditions as Bloom Diva. Quite frankly, I I wish it was just two melodious monsters um melodious would be so much better if every single one of their fusions just said two melodious monsters it would be like the deck would have been like so much better if they didn't need to have to use the maestro monsters if it could have just been any two melodious but you know what can't have everything i guess effect number one this card gains 300 attack for each of its fusion materials now this guy like you can actually summon her with 10 fusion materials if that ever comes up i don't think it's going to but at the minimum you're gonna have two so at the minimum she is gonna get 600 attack so she is 2500 base um, the 1900 is again it's pretty irrelevant unless like skill drain is in the mix but you know she's always going to be a, a generally speaking like unless skill drain or breakthrough skill is played she's usually going to be at least 2500 when she hits the field the fact that the second effect is what really makes her good um this card can make a second attack during each battle phase and it's good because it doesn't restrict it to oh it has to be a second attack on monsters or it has to be a second attack if it destroys an opponent's monster by bad or something like no just two attacks period that means that at the minimum when she you know shows up she should be able to hit your opponent for about a possible you know max of like 5,000 attack at the minimum if you just use two materials which is good because like melodias they have like their their fusion answer some good problems um mainly bloom diva as you can just crash her into like you know the spaceships over and over and over again <laughs> and she just keeps on running She's like she keeps on doing damage and you know this one um you know she does she can get up to 3,000 attack but they don't have a way of doing huge battle damage like they, they take a long time to do anything and this card being able to hit the field if you were gecko your opponent being able to do you know 5,000 damage or you know potentially discard like you know fusion maybe four of them together and just do a ton of damage maybe to get your opponent like that's really really good and it's something that melodious have been missing they need ways of doing battle damage quick and they don't really have a lot of ways and when you combine this with potentially honest or potentially score which is only in the ocg right now but we'll get into tcg soon enough if you combine that with score or um honest okay then it gets like now we're now we're going into the shenanigans that sasona used to do so you know it can actually do a lot of damage um effect number three and this is something that, again, all of the Melodious should have had. If this fusion summon card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Melodious monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. That is really big because score does not need to be summoned to use the effect. If you attack into a mirror force, you can actually get score and you can still be protected during your opponent's turn when it comes back to you. And they try and run over your other Melodious monsters. Um, let's say like you summon one after the mirror force in main phase two or something like that. Mainly, I think I'd probably just want to get back score over and over 
over and over again. But like, I just I look at Melodias and I compare them to like Shadows, and I'm just like. Dude, why did Konami fuck Melodias over so hard? With Shadows, they were so adjusted to power creep, where if you killed their, if you blew their monsters up with card effects, they triggered, and they had flip effects, and they couldn't miss timing, and their um all of their their fusion monsters when they go to the graveyard activate effects. Like, why are Melodias just now getting that into their fusion monsters? You know, fucking a year late, oh, like over a year later. It's like, you know, Shadows have had that from the beginning, hence maybe that's why the reason, like, you know, Construct got banned. Shadows didn't have to use fucking polymerization. They got their own polymerization, and it was better, infinitely better. And they got their own second polymerization you could use during the battle phase. And, like, Melodius didn't get any of that shit. So, you know, it, it's good to see that they're getting this third effect is at least a small adjustment to power creep. If this card dies, you know, if Bloom Prima dies, you get something to actually, you know, reward you for summoning the card in the first place. But, like, they should have had that built into all of the Melodius. And they all should just require two Melodious. You shouldn't even have to use Maestro Monsters, like, or, nah, fuck it, you just shouldn't have to use Maestro Monsters, because whenever I draw Maestro and I don't have, like, um, Polymerization, I just face palm. I'm like, oh my god, this shit is so terrible, I'm never gonna summon this card. That's the reason why a lot of people, including myself, use Crystal Rose in the build, is so that you don't have to, like, Hopefully you won't fight, you won't have to draw your maestros because they're fucking dead in your hand. But this card seems pretty good. Um, what I'm really hoping for now with Melodius, I'm hoping that they'll get like a miracle fusion. What they need is they need to not run polymerization. They need a better way. If if they can't, if they have to keep running polymerization, they need ways to search it or something. Because Fluffles have ways of like searching poly polymerization or like copying polymerization from the graveyard. This deck needs its own like fight for fusion or miracle fusion or shadow off you. It needs it needs its own fucking fusion card. I'm sick of having to run polymerization in this deck. So let me know what you guys think. Oh, also the artwork on this card is just it's just lovely, man. I like all of Melodia's artworks are so good. Thank you guys for watching as always.